This week on the Movie Mob Podcast, Oppenheimer breaks another record. Finally, a trailer for Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. And stick around to the end of the episode to hear Matt and I share our thoughts on Ahsoka episodes one through six. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Movie Mob Podcast here. Episode 66, Execute Order 66. We're talking Ahsoka this episode. Perfect timing. For that 66th episode, Matt, you're back. We missed you. Thank you. Welcome back. Yep. Nick, as always, behind the camera, the big three is back in session here. Let's oh. kick it off. We've got one news topic, and it's going to blow your mind, all right? <laughs> Oppenheimer. Every time Matt's on, we talk about box office. It's kind of funny. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> um, Oppenheimer has broken another record. Wow. It currently sits at $912 million at the box office. Uh, obviously, we'll probably make a, a bit more, but it surpassed Bohemian Rhapsody as the uh, highest grossing uh, Elvis biopic. Else. Yeah. biopic. Yeah. What do you think of that? You I mean, I, I don't care. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't matter, nah. I guess. But, no, no, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Um, dude, it's fucking movie of the summer, movie right. of the year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone's going to fucking see this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, no, so I'm not surprised at all. And also, this movie's significantly better. In that movie so no i'm not surprised it is wild though that it it has like surpassed like movies about music artists and all these big figures you know well i think just they did everything perfect they marketed yeah. it perfect it came out at the perfect time like oppenheimer and barbie kind of played off each other right it was like the event I of know, the summer like perfect like time to come out i think uh you know covid things pretty much no one's talking about that anymore you know what i mean people yeah. are ready to get back to the theater nolan stars out the wazoo Critically acclaimed. I just think the stars align for Oppenheimer. Yeah. Denis Villeneuve just called it a masterpiece. There you the go. Day you saw it. That's uh, nice. That's high praise. That's from Denis. pretty high praise. What do you think of this, dude? It's expected, you know, um, that it, that the movie would do as well as it's doing. The fact that it's the highest grossing biopic ever. If you had told me five years ago that a science movie about a scientist is going to make a billion right. dollars, I would have laughed in your face. But uh, I think Matt said it best, like, it's movie of the year. And if this doesn't win Best Picture, I mean, the this one will, that does. Another strike will happen. <laughs> I mean, the one that does better really, yeah. I mean, it's got to be, you know. <laughs> I think the biggest competition for this would have been um, for, for yeah, would have been Dune for yeah. Best Picture. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. Dude, if Barbie wins over this, we have issues. Yeah, I, I don't think so. We'll see. We'll see. I, but oh, yeah, I'm going to have issues. But honestly, so. I don't. I think even like a week before this movie came out, if you went around the room and asked us if we thought this would make nine hundred million dollars, I don't think we would have said that. I did ask you uh, before we went to go see it on the show. I think the week. Before what do we, we say? Like seven hundred, maybe. Yeah, you, I think you said like ha- like five hundred. Yeah, which which don't I mean, trust me. All right. No, 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 no. But, but either <laughs> yeah. way, like it, that, I feel like that's a reasonable. You yeah, know. you would think. Yeah, I, I mean, based 80, on Nolan's other movies too. Yeah, the budget was between eighty and a hundred mil. Okay, right. and then you have advertising. But the budget for the film was eighty and hundred mil. It's gonna make a billion fucking. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. crazy. And he's gonna have a nice fat budget for his next movie. I'll tell you. I don't that, think he'll have a budget for his next yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's that. up the yeah. tab. Right. What do you exactly. um? So Nick, what do you think? Because I'm uh, clearly I'm not good with numbers on this. Do you think it could hit a uh, a billion? Oh, it will. Yeah. You By think the end so? Of the, yeah. We have October, well, November, December. We have three months left, and it's at 9-12. Yeah, but I don't know if it'll be in theaters for three more months. You're telling I me I think you it's can't hitting do, digital on November 3rd. And you're telling me it's not going to do 80 grand in three months? It did $100 million the first That's weekend. True. Yeah. <laughs> it and, and it million. opened in China at the end of August. Yeah, yeah So yeah. it's still there. Or 80, it's going to do $80 million more. Yeah. It'll be a slow drip. I think it's going to be close, though. I think it'll hit a billion before the end of the year. You do, you know that? Yeah. All right. I think yeah. so. I think so. And closer to Oscar season, if they push it in theaters again, yeah, that, which they might do, that could. could when help I said, I mean, I mean worldwide, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, China yeah, market, yeah, yeah. but yeah, but, that's insane to me that yeah. it's going to bank as much as it is. It's crazy. Yeah. It's already, it's already broken expectations by far. Let's yeah. get into the discussion topics. We have got three trailers today, and the first one is a uh, a long wait for this one. People who were critiquing on Twitter that we still have not gotten a trailer not even a teaser for this movie and it comes out in december uh a lot of controversy about this movie in in so many different ways that you can't even list them all but james wan's returning to direct aquaman in the lost kingdom the sequel to the aquaman movie which made a billion dollars somehow looking back how did that happen i liked it no i i agree but 
an Aquaman movie made a billion dollars. It's kind of wild. Um, and it's not like it had rave reviews. Like we, we thought it was a fun time, but, uh, wild stuff. It took them a while to make this movie. Obviously big shakeups at DC. I think this is the last DC movie that they made before James Gunn. So going forward, we're going to have whatever James Gunn cooks up. What'd you think of this trailer, Matt? I thought it was hot garbage. Yeah. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was terrible. Yep. Um, I think this movie will be terrible. I actually really enjoyed the first one. I'm not saying... It was goofy fun. It was goofy. It was like an early 2000s, yes. lighthearted, goofy mm-hmm. fun. Um, I definitely won't see this. I think this movie had zero buzz. First, they waited five years for it to come out. Yep. The whole Amber Heard thing put, uh, puts a damper on it. They're replacing Momoa as Aquaman. Are they actually? Uh, didn't you say that in one of our things? Like, gun? Oh, they might be. I mean, he could yeah. be if he recasts yeah, him. Yeah, they I'm, said that I'm pretty sure you said that. a different role, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I did yeah. say that. was a while back. Yeah. 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 So he's not even good. I mean, this is it. Yeah. It's five years between movies. The first one wasn't even really that good. Yeah. Um, and let's be honest, they didn't look like they were underwater anyway. Yeah. Who, uh, yeah, the CGI doesn't who, look good. Who gives a shit? You know? I, I got to say, like, this, <laughs> this whole, like, this movie looks even more, like, stupidly goofy than the first one yep. did. It, it's kind of weird. I mean, it was kind. It was good for laughs in the first yeah, one. Yeah, it was this cute. Whole, but this now buddy I'm, cop I'm thing with him and Orm, like they wanted to kill each other. The last yeah. movie. Now they're buddy buddy. People, there, there's rumors that people have walked out of early screenings for this movie. Oh wow! Sometimes those things are not true. Like a lot of early screening things comes out, but uh, I don't know. He's got a kid. Does the kid die in that fire? That's pretty morbid. <laughs> they kill the baby off. Yeah, it's that'd crazy. be interesting. Some uh, we got it. one shot of Amber Heard now, James. James Wan claims that his intention from the beginning was to make this about Aquaman and Orm and not, you know, her, uh, what is her name, Mera? That's bullshit. She was the yeah. second leading yeah, one yeah, in yeah. the first She's movie. She's probably lying. Yeah. Uh, so they definitely probably reduced her role in the script. Funny. What do you think, Nick? It's bullshit. I mean, it's I mean you haven't seen the first one. Right? I have seen the first one. Oh, you have? What did yeah, you think? I watched it? it on HBO. Oh, shit. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. It was like you know, it's goofy, whatever. It's a popcorn I, I, film. It, it is. is. A popcorn it is. It's a popcorn. It's a, it's a yeah, popcorn slush. Flow. It's a popcorn slush. Yeah, it's it, funny. It wasn't that movie, I goofy, yeah. whatever. But I don't. I don't. You're not gonna sell me on the goofiness too much. I think God. You know what? A film that does the goofy, like uh, sarcastic humor well is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, mm-hmm. they're 100%. very good with their humor. Yeah. This is too goofy for me. It's like you swung much. the pendulum like far. Oh yeah, way too far. And then you have a movie or a trailer that drops like this. I'm not. Th- <laughs> you had five years, and that's the best you could make it look like oh. they're underwater. Right. You know, they reused the shot from the first movie in it too. Oh, did Everyone, they? Yeah. That's it's funny. wild. I. How is this Aquaman the same Aquaman as Zack Snyder's Aquaman? The Aquaman slamming beers and jumping in the water. Yeah. Like that guy's he made him a badass. Yeah, it was completely this different. guy's just like a goofball. I think it's really difficult to look up to uh you know, superheroes the way that kids in the fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties did, because they're so goofy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, in yeah. general. Like you want that the the thing that makes something like the boys like such a good show is that the heroes are flawed. Yeah. So it's like it's like one of those like don't meet your heroes kind of concepts. Sure. Like you know what I mean? Like everybody has their flaws and their their trials and tribulations. When it's too goofy and everything's perfect and they're just throwing giant boulders at each other under the ocean, it's like give me a fucking break. And like it's it's what important when here? Superman like Superman, Spider Man, they all have ideals. Yeah. Like what's 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 Aquaman's ideal? He likes to swim? Yeah, yeah like, like I don't know. Swimming. Yeah. Talk, talking to a trout. Like what, right. what, what, what am I learning here? from this movie? Yeah. Uh, I, I won't be seeing this. Oh. I haven't even watched The Flash, which has been HBO Max. I haven't had any desire to watch that. Me either. Uh I'm not excited. No. I'm not excited. Uh, this might break a record. I don't know what the record would be, but in terms of movie making a significant less money than the first one. Oh wow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like have if the first one makes a billion, like and you come out with a sequel, you'd think it'd make a lot of money. I don't think this is gonna make any money. Yeah. This is going to be a bad one. It's all bullshit. I'm excited to watch mm-hmm. it crash and burn. But anyway, we got an interesting trailer, this next one here. Nick Cage. We know him. Great actor. I think there's been a lot of debate over the years whether Nick Cage is a good actor or not. I think he is. Mm. I think he's a character guy. He has to play quirky roles, but I think he's very good. <laughs> this, this is, is u- the ultimate quirky role <laughs> yeah, here. This A24, get <laughs> Dream Scenario, it's called. And it's about basically Nick Cage, this old guy, and he keeps showing up in people's dreams, and it gets weird, and he becomes this famous guy. Uh, 
Interesting concept, Matt. You said it earlier. This is something we'd probably come up with. I was going to say this weird. is fucking weird. What, what something do you think, we, dude? I kind of like it just yeah. because of how weird it is. Like, what an interesting, like, kind of like original concept. Yeah, just like some like I don't know, nerdy like older guy, mm-hmm. just like showing up in people's dreams and like yeah. his kind of mannerisms and his like facial expressions. Like, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be f- pretty funny. It seems like it's gonna have like heart to it. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be one of those comedies. What do you think of this, Nick? Look good. I think yeah. it looked good. It was interesting. Um, I got a question, not question of the day style, but just question regarding um, Nicolas Cage. What is the very first Nicolas Cage movie that you remember seeing ever? God. National Treasure. Was yeah, it National Treasure? National yeah. Treasure. That's a good one. Okay. First one for me. <laughs> I was like six years old. Face Off. My father was oh, watching yeah. it. And it's him With and John Travolta. Travolta and yeah. they switch faces and become oh, the other geez. people. That's weird. It was uh, it, oh, it's a it's a cool movie. Um, but he's just oh, as Ghost weird. Rider, I Ghost Rider, that. that one. Oh, and uh, Wicker Man. He was uh, in he was in Wicker Man where the bees. They're in my eyes. Yeah. In Spider-Man my Noir. Eyes. I mean, come oh, on. he is Spider-Man Noir. Yeah. he was really really big for a while. And uh, Wild at Heart. You ever see that? The David Lynch one. No, is it good? Just like an Elvis voice the whole movie. That's it, funny. It's pretty wild. Yeah, he's he's a uh, listen. He's a goofy guy like he's a quirky guy i should say mm-hmm. goofy we use for aquaman but he's he's a quirky guy but i don't think he's a bad actor no, i think I he's think actually so. a really good actor I mean, and you gotta uh, put him in the right roles yeah, yeah. Uh, just like everybody else i yeah. don't as an example right i don't see leonardo dicaprio playing this role no you know what i'm saying like no. you need that quirky yes. base yeah, exactly yeah in order to, to get stuff done is it a is it <laughs> he's a coppola he's yeah. got the blood yeah. it's, yeah. Gonna, it's gonna be uh it's gonna you, be it's gonna be an interesting film. Well, <laughs> it's it's, it's a weird interesting film. because the, the end of that trailer kind of takes a bit of a dark turn. Yes. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna like get dark, or do you think it's gonna be like a little like? You know, I don't. I don't think it'll third be third act thing where stuff starts to go down a bit. Yeah. Well, so apparently it's about this guy who who people dream about. Yeah, and he just sh- he's a real person, but he keeps showing up in people's dreams. Right, and so yeah. they, but then he becomes really famous, and the dark turn in the trailer, anyway. I don't know anything about the film except the people trailer. People get obsessed with him. Yeah, yeah, and then it like they looked like there was a guy who was dressed like yeah. him, and put a bald cap on, and and you know the hair on the sides and everything. There's some, uh, there's some interesting moments in there. I don't think it'll go dark like Hereditary dark though. No, no, like, no it's not. Yeah, it's I not agree. that. I just know with A twenty four, you never know where these movies go. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be. It's more. It's going to be more of those things like the the truth behind the the cost of fame. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, that yeah. Kind yeah of no, thing. definitely. Like that's the message. Um, meet what does it say? Meet the man of, of your, your dreams. dreams. This is very yeah. like early two thousands. Like I could see Jim Carrey I doing like this. this movie. Oh, definitely. Steve Carell, definitely. You know, I like love that. Era. that. That's such a good. That's a yeah, good, that's a good comp. Yeah, I, it's like again, like uh, it's good that A twenty four is making a movie like this because we really don't see it anymore. No, it's an original idea. Yeah. yeah, it's so weird. I feel like like I obviously don't know anybody at A twenty four, but I, at the same time, I'm still so happy because their yeah. their movies are such quality. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, they're it's building like, a name for themselves and a good yeah. name though, yeah. not like a bullshit like oh like, we just put shit yeah, out yeah, there like actors. all the movies a24 makes are really decent and a, I, everything everywhere all at once i think really helped them less you're getting that buzz oh, yeah you know? absolutely uh absolutely it, this is kind of unrelated to this movie but it popped into my head because i uh forgot to throw it in the news topics might as well talk about it quentin tarantino yeah there's rumors that he's going to be shooting his next movie Final movie. Oh, the movie the, critic. Yeah, the movie critic next year in L.A. And there's rumors that the cast is going to include Travolta, Sam L. Jackson, and uh, all the OGs. What's, what's the guy's name? I keep blanking on his name. Hauser. Uh, I don't know what. I've, I don't think I've seen him in anything, but uh, he's been a. He's been in a lot. Yeah, I guess he's a good actor. People. He's a really good actor. Talked yeah. high about him. So it's cool. What do you think about? Sam L and uh, Travolta might be back in the Tarantino seat. Dude, I think it's kind of perfect that, like, you know, in his last movie, he brings back, like, his guys. Yeah, the goats. You yeah, know he what should I mean? bring everyone back for this. You know what I mean? Like, especially Sam L, dude. Yeah. But, like, I feel like most people think of, like, Pulp Fiction. You know, it's just the first yeah. one people think of, and I feel like those two guys are so iconic. I'd say they could be playing the same characters, but uh, Travolta yeah, gets shot up. Uh, <laughs> No, that I mean that'll be cool. I hope Harvey Keitel makes an oh, appearance because he he was great. Shammy, throw them all oh, yeah. in there. What do you movie think? Movie critic though? cast says Samuel L. Jackson, Leo DiCaprio, Tim Roth, Christoph Waltz, and Brad Pitt. But that that's yeah. See, I don't know. Sometimes Google they don't they throw random stuff in there. Yeah, it's from May. Yeah, I don't know. Um, like any of those guys would be great. I mean, it'd be cool, even yeah. in cameos. Well, see, and that's the thing too. If someone's gonna do cameos like that for their An last film, Rick I actually would give. I would give cut. 
Tarantino a little slack on that too. He, I guarantee you, if you ask Tarantino about it, he'd say it's w- wicked tropey to have a million cameos, and he yeah. wouldn't like it. But on his last film, I feel like a repro. Imagine if Jackie Brown, that chick from Jackie Brown, if she showed up in there, and there was like yeah. a whole bunch of little Give like a little random hateful eight vibe where you get yes. like Channing Tatum, you know, like oh it yeah, in there. yeah, that'd be cool. I'm excited for it. I'm I'm looking for that. I, I searched it because I'm looking for that guy's name. The uh, yeah, I don't know why I can't find him. I think it's Paul Hauser. Yeah, I'm such an something. idiot. I, I, I love him, and I think he's a great actor. What and have I've you seen him, seen him in? I, it's, uh, what's it called there? Uh, the Mindhunter, Manhunter, something like that. You know who's in it? It's, it's, the, the, it's the, the guy from, uh, from what's that guy's name? That star, the, he was the star of the Tetris movie. Oh, oh, the thin Tan guy, Hagerton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's in this in this show or this series. His name's Paul, Paul Walter, Walter Hauser. Hauser. Yeah, yeah, we found him. yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he was in. Uh, he was in this. Oh, he's in Cobra Kai. The fuck out. Cobra yeah. Kai never dies. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, Blackbird is the is six episodes. Blackbird, and he plays a ser- a serial killer. <laughs> okay. Um, and and it's like intense and it's very very good okay he plays larry hall who is you know ray liotta's in it um and taron egerton is the uh the main the main guy he's like he works, works with the fbi whatever i saw him in that and then he also played a while back he played uh richard jewell who was a guy who stopped the terrorist bombing and he he was oh the- he was in that movie uh there's a bomb in Centennial Park. With, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. With, exactly. Uh, John Hams in that Clint right. Eastwood movie. Yeah, right, 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 right. And yeah. so he played the guy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, and nobody. And the cool thing about this like story is that nobody believed Richard Jewell. Yeah. They thought he was the terrorist, and they tried to like force yeah, yeah, yeah. a confession out of him and all this other crap. And then uh, and it turns out that he was actually a. a savior of like right hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of people they almost blew up yeah, everybody at a concert i never got a chance yeah. to watch that that's but. a good movie but he is he is a very talented actor and he seems like a very sweet humble guy mm-hmm. um and uh very yeah very good very, opportunity for him in a tarantino movie. i'm not just saying this but he is very well-rounded yeah. you know what i mean yeah. not just because he's chunky everywhere everywhere yeah All right well I, I just wanted to throw that in i thought it was interesting stuff i can't um, wait for that movie to come i haven't up. seen travolta in a lot since Gotti. Right. <laughs> oh God, that was yeah. Uh, that turned me off of movie theaters for a while, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Well, anyway, our final trailer today is for Percy Jackson in the Olympians, the Disney Plus series. Now, Matt, we grew up early 2000s. We did. We grew up oh, Harry oh, Potter. We all did. Yeah, you're yeah, right. right. Sorry, <laughs> Harry Potter, <laughs> Percy Jackson. These were kind of the big Hunger ones. Games. Maybe the Hunger Games. Throw that in there. I read the first two Percy Jackson books. Mm. I remember seeing the first movie in theaters. I know that book readers probably hated that movie. I had a fun time with it. You know, just in re- <laughs> I haven't watched it since, but in retrospect. But Disney's doing an ad- uh, adaptation. Uh, Rick Reardon, the guy who wrote the books, is a part of it. He's been really happy about it because he, he says it's more faithful ad- adaptation of the books. Um, listen, it, it's, a, it's a young adult novel. It, they're kids' movie, kids' books. This is very kid uh, leaning, I think. Smart from Disney. Will I be watching this? Probably not. However, I I didn't think it looked bad. I thought it looked bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did won't. you really? No, I don't know. Oh, no, okay, no, it's right. fine. For, if it's for kids, if you're telling me it's for kids, it's fine. Well, who else would it I'm be for? I'm just assuming the. Bo- you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I, no, I don't think true. they're making this for. I yeah. will say the first movie was a bit more mature. From yeah. what I remember. I don't, dude, growing up, I was never, like, you're right, they were big. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. remember all my friends in, like, elementary, like, they're all the books and yeah. the movie. It was a big thing. I was never a Percy Jackson kid. Me either. You it know? wasn't my favorite. No. Yeah, yeah, I was always, like, Star Wars or Harry Potter. I yeah, never got yeah, into yeah. Percy Jackson, me. Mm-hmm. But I remember they were huge. I don't know, man. Like you said, like, for kids, like, I'm sure it's awesome. And, like, it'll be fun. But I don't know. I feel like all the kids who grew up with Percy Jackson are, like, older now. That's a good point. Is it touching those other You know what I mean? Like, if you yeah, ask, like, know. young kids oh, now. Oh, easy on the touching <laughs> generations here. No, but I feel like if you ask, like, a young kid now, they would still know Star Wars and Harry Potter. Yes. I yeah. don't know if they would still know Percy Jackson. Well, I mean, the it, other one that's really big, not to change the subject at all, but the other one that's really big or was big with girls when I was a little kid was Judy Bloom. Those Judy oh, those Bloom are big. Oh, those yeah, big. novels, yeah. you know, way back yep. in the day. Maze Runner. This is, like, the, the guy yeah, equivalent, yeah. you know, of a Judy Bloom thing. I don't know. It looked fine, but like, you know, I mean, I'm definitely not going to watch. Yeah. If I was seven, maybe. Yeah. You know? 
Well, that's I think that's who it's for. Yeah, that's, no, you're right. Yeah, and it's definitely it does have Harry Potter vibes, and you really think about it. he's a demigod. He goes to like the camp, which is kind of like Hogwarts. Yeah. It's kind of definitely derivative. Settle down. What? <laughs> it's got vibes, but nothing is Harry Potter. That's what I said. Vibes, though. Yeah, vibes. the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think of this next? I mean, you didn't read the books, no. So I don't you, read any kind books. of objective, partial to this, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a cool kids show. Yeah, it looks high budget. It's Disney, better be, mm-hmm. and uh, it looks it looks interesting. It's a series, so that's yeah. cool. Um, I I don't know, man. I don't know enough about it. I feel like it could be crazy. Well, look, to, the what? concept is he is Poseidon, the the Greek god. Poseidon, yeah. yes. He is the half half. What do they call him? Demigod. He's his son. So. Like Poseidon. Had a kid yeah, with a you're human. Then you're that's like the whole thing. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy it, children. It's a mudblood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I smuggled. put this on for the kids, and I yeah. go in the other room, I'll watch the Pats game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. And that's saying <laughs> a lot, because you don't watch the Pats games. No, yeah. I do watch the Pats games. Yeah, I just don't watch yeah, anybody yeah. else. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, I don't watch anything else. It's, yeah. If if I'm going to watch sports, I'd watch the Pats. That's about Pats. it. Pats. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's a shame, though, because Lance Reddick, who passed away, is playing Zeus in this, so they're probably going to have to recast him. Oh. Great actor. Him, Ray Legend. Stevenson. Legend. We're losing some great guys. Legends. Mm-hmm. It's a shame. All right, so let's get into it. Ahsoka, uh, the Disney Plus series. Matt, we talked about this before it came out. We didn't know if we were going to review it or not. Matt, it's it's no. Uh, we haven't been shy about it. No, we're, we're upset with how Disney Star Wars has, has been uh, in recent times. Fuck I them. mean, it's had its ups and downs. But yep. recently, I don't think we were very happy with Kenobi. A lot of downs, RJ. I don't think we were happy with Book of Boba Fett. Sucked. Mandalorian season three. Blue. Not great. Fucking. Awful. No, we were already teetering on the edge, right? We're we're not oh, huge fans of the sequel trilogy, but we do like edge. Rogue One. We enjoyed Andor, yes. so there have been some good sp- points. Listen, we get an eye for talent. If it's good, we'll fucking say it. If it's bad, we'll shit right. on it. Right? We're not biased. We're, no. We don't. We're not the people that we're hate everything Disney Star Wars. We like what we like. We the best. Yeah. We the best. We the best. DJ music. Khaled. Yeah. He. I think he'd like this series, Matt, because <laughs> it's interesting, and I'm glad we're talking about it because we got Thank two you. sides of the coin here. Mm. This is basically Rebels, the animated series, season five. Okay. You have not seen Rebels. Not a second. It, I have. Sam has, unfortunately. Well, Maybe right. we'll have him on next week or something. Do but, we, okay. <laughs> no, <it's>, uh, <laughs> but I'm... It, it's, <laughs> such an uh, unbelievable. Uh, no, we love him. We love him dearly. Doesn't sound like it. Uh, yeah. well. It's good to have two different perspectives on this because... Love Sam. There's a lot of connections to the Rebels series. You've seen Clone Wars, though. Oh, yeah. Right? So you know Ahsoka. I've been there. Matt, six episodes down here. What have been your thoughts? Dude, I am very impressed with this show, RJ. Wow. I had zero plans to watch this show. Mm-hmm. Um, Was not going to watch it. And then you talked to me. You said, dude, pretty good. And uh, I got a text from Jacob Grant. Yep. Big Star Wars guy. Um, He goes, dude, you have to watch this show. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was alone on a Friday night. I think it was last week. It was raining out, yep. and, uh, you know, I didn't want to watch five episodes of Ahsoka. I would have liked to have gone out and socialized with people my own age. Sure. But, you know, it is what it, it is, and uh, I ended up watching five episodes of Ahsoka, and I I was actually upset the whole season wasn't out. I go, yeah. I'm bi- I want to binge this shit. Dude, and it was awesome, um, and it was interesting for me because I think a lot of people, maybe like you and Jacob, I don't know, um, were excited because, you know, it's kind of rebels brought to life. Yeah. You know what I mean? For me, I, I rebels means nothing to me because I haven't seen it. I just like the show for what it is. And before we get into a little more, I'll just say off the bat, my the two things I think the show has done awesome mm-hmm. is um, well Rosario Dawson, per, first of all. Yeah. Not only does she look like the perfect casting for Ahsoka, she plays it perfectly, but the best thing in the entire show is The Apprentice. Yeah, Shin. Shin, Shin she, yep. demon time. Mm-hmm. This girl's on demon time. Yeah. Like, she she stares the boat, if you know what I'm saying, RJ. Yep. She's on top. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, no, she's the best part, I think. Um, and, I mean, the show altogether, I think, is really well done. I don't know what yeah, you think. I mean, they've done a good job of, obviously, there's stuff in here that's directly connected to Rebels, but they've done a good job for the fans who haven't seen it of ma- not making it overwhelming, yeah. I don't think. Because uh, you know Ahsoka, at least. Mm. And I agree with you. I think Balin and Shin awesome. might be, like, maybe top two three best characters in, like since Disney Star Wars. Mm. Like I've really enjoyed their dynamic. 
the, the way I look at it is it's almost like Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan if they were like dark side. Yeah. Like very same dynamic there. Dude, and it's not um what I like about them too is like he's like he's Seth, right? But you can tell he yeah. kind of dabbles. He, no, he's more like Dooku. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, he kind of he's an independent thinker. Yes. You know what I mean? Just because everyone does it this way and I feel like she I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a clash between them and the uh what's his name? Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn yeah. Dude, I for him, just quickly him. Yeah, what'd you think dude, of one Thrawn? episode? Because I don't know anything about him, but I've heard the name. Yeah, dude, very uh, dude, he's like calm. Yes, but like it kind of makes him scarier. I almost get like a Gus Fring vibe. Uh, exactly, like he's very he's pro- methodical. Yeah, yeah, very proper, methodical, but that also like I almost like he's more scary like that than like freaking out yeah. on everyone, you know. And Lars Mikkelsen's voice, oh, perfect, is unreal. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad because Thrawn's been a big character since the '90s in the Heir to the Empire books, mm. but you know that was before our time even too sure. uh, that was after return of the jedi so we didn't really grow up with him but i've known about thrawn and he came in in rebels and lars mickelson did the voice and i, I love the way he looked I-, I think the show in general just from a looks perspective has looked great i think sometimes the volume stuff in the mandalorian looks a little off yeah but i think they've done a good job here um I don't know. I just really like all the characters. I think all the villains are good. That uh, the Night Sister Morgan, she's uh, cool. I think she's good. It was cool seeing the Night Sisters in live action. But but let's get to the the big episode that I I know what you're gonna yeah, when yeah, this yeah. happened. I was like, all right, Matt has to watch yeah, the show dude. now. Yeah, and that's uh, what was it? Episode five, I believe so. When we get Hayden Christensen, yeah. we got him in the poster there. Back as Anakin Skywalker, looking phenomenal. Looks he great. looked great. I don't know if they Dodge. did de aging. If they did, I didn't notice it. But like. Even the makeup. I mean, once you put the wig on him, he goes down like oh. ten years. For dude, once he had, you're right. Once he had that like Revenge of Sith hair. Yeah. Like, dude, it takes me back, dude. That episode, because that can so easily be cheesy, and that's yes. what I like about this show. Because a lot of the Disney Plus shows are so cheesy, and like the, it's almost like a joke. Like the Jack Black, right. Meg The Stallion, like all that shit. It's it, it really is a joke. It makes it so corny and cheesy. Yep. And a lot of times these Disney Plus shows, they just throw in like characters to just give the fans like. You know, kind of like a trending moment on Twitter. Hash Anakin Skywalker trending. Jack, Lizzo, yeah, yeah, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. So if you were to tell me Anakin's going to be in the show, I would, I obviously I would love it because he's my favorite character, but like yeah. I would be hesitant, you know? But they did it in such a great way that it made sense. It wasn't cheesy at all. And dude, I just got fucking goosebumps when he was like walking away. <laughs> what? When he was like, I got goosebumps. Oh, I know what you're saying. When he was like walking away, dude, and like it would flash. To Vader. To Vader. Yeah. Because, like, she could, like, kind of see it. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah, Dude, that was so cool. What do you think? I, I thought I thought that was the coolest aspect of it because we're dealing with an Anakin who's... Ex- he's Revenge of the Sith Anakin, but yeah. he's experienced everything. Yeah. So, like, w- there was that great line when Ahsoka says, I won't fight you. And he's like, I've heard that before as a reference to Luke in Return of the Jedi mm-hmm. saying, I won't fight you. Sick, and it, it's cool seeing, like, it's like this, like, perfect version of Anakin. Mm. Here we can, like, bounce back and forth between Vader and regular Anakin but yeah I mean that was great the flashes the him with the red saber that's like everyone wish really we cool. could see that you get to see like what he would be like not in the suit yeah um but I think it's just great for Hayden Christensen because he delivered man dude what a bounce back because yeah. like I feel like when we were in high school man obviously we grew up with the prequel so like we yeah. love them no matter what like we didn't know any better and like in high school I feel like it was kind of a joke like the yeah. prequels and like everyone shit on them and I don't know if it's now the sequel trilogies have come out mm-hmm and, like, everyone just hates them so yeah, much. Yeah, they, they realize. Yeah. Or if it's, like, all the kids who grew up with the prequels are now, like, I don't know, kind of coming, like, 20, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, dude, I feel like his, I've always loved him, but I feel like the Star Wars fandom has really embraced him back. Yeah. Between this, between his appearances at, like, the Comic-Cons things, the events, um, even though people didn't like Obi-Wan, him being in it. Yeah. And I feel like he's embraced coming back, and I feel like it was hard for him because I feel like he took a... Uh, you know, it's hard. Everyone shits on his performance. He probably put so much into. No, you know, and, when and it's been an issue with Star Wars for Ahmed Best, yeah. Daisy Ridley. A lot of people have hate regardless of the movies. But it's awesome to see him in the role. And I think he crushed it. I mean, we got like this dream scenario. People always wondered what would it look like if we saw Hayden with Ahsoka. So cool. Because you had to imagine that during the Clone Wars yeah. seasons. And I, it was like flawless dude, to me. Per- perfect casting, dude. Perfect. They did it really. They executed it really well. I, I didn't think it was cheesy at all. He had the really shorter cool. hair, the clone armor. Like, yeah, it, it dude. Was, it was cool to see. It was, it was and awesome. And he was, he was just Rex perfect. was in there? Yeah, seeing that a little was, bit of that Rex. That was a nice little moment just for the fans. Yeah. I would have liked to see Obi-Wan, but it would have been yeah, kind of weird. Been, it would have yeah. taken away. 
That's true. But um, no, I thought that was really well done. I definitely agree with you. Balin and Shin are the highlights for me. Yeah, dude. Um, I think cool. all the characters have been great. I, I gotta be honest. Yeah. I like Rosario Dawson. Oh, okay. I think Ahsoka is probably the least interesting character in this whole series, though. The well, the reason I like her is because the way she plays Ahsoka and the way she is, I think more in Rebels and Clone Wars. She's very like reserved. She's very calm. stoic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stoic is the perfect word. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that may be why she's like the least interesting. Yeah. She's a very stoic kind of calm. Um, character, and I think she plays it very well. Um, I agree with you that like she's maybe less interesting than a lot of the other characters. Yeah. I just like I feel like fans have been like clamoring for like a live action like Ahsoka Definitely. for so long, so I th think people are just happy to see that. But I would agree with that. I mean, people have been critiquing her in the first four episodes of her being too like monotone, but I think it was like intentional it. because yeah. I think oh, after she sees Anakin. Yeah. And she has that lesson. I mm. think then she kind of returns. Because like, Ahsoka's 14 in the Clone Wars. Yeah. She's not going to act like a kid. Exactly. It's like, yeah. Well, th she's been th through so much shit. Right. She was literally through the Clone Wars, trained under Anakin, yeah. saw her master. She, like, turned and everything. It's just so nerdy. But, like, she yeah, she, no, like, yeah. She, she went through, like, all that shit, saw all the Jedi turn, like, everyone die. Mm -hmm. Like, how is she going to be? Yeah. You know what I mean? She's happy-go-lucky. So I think it makes sense. And people don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> you know yeah fuck them so, don't watch that but in you know? this last this most recent episode that yeah. dropped the other day we we saw thrawn oh yeah he's in uh and then we get uh sabine reunited with ezra so we only got two episodes left i think uh is this one season or just continuing there's rumors that there's going to be a season two but my belief is that this is going to lead into that dave filoni movie no see i don't like that okay you what know you thinking i don't like what's with this leading into this you know what i mean now i gotta watch this that one right just fucking end it or keep the show going i don't want to watch i, see, I feel like it's movie. gonna end on a cliffhanger and Fuck. the movie is gonna be like everyone versus thrawn well i'm a little worried rj because i feel, you know they act as thrawn is the big bad yes they bring him in at what the end the second half of episode six that's why i'm thinking yeah. so it's either gonna be one of two things either it's gonna continue into a movie or season two yeah. or they're gonna kill him off like prematurely Right, you know which what I mean. Dangerous, which yeah. is, I mean, they could pull it off um, if they do it right. We'll see. Um, probably what you said there'll probably be some bullshit movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Why is everything got to connect? Why can't you just have its own story? Yeah, you know what I mean. Fuck. It excites me a bit. <sighs> of course if they, it does. If they Fuck you. if they do a movie no. with Thrawn, because <laughs> no, think about it this way, Matt. If if Thrawn yeah. lives through this series, say it ends on a cliffhanger, right, right, he right, gets right. into back into the galaxy. All right. You got to call on Luke, right? Oh jeez. You have you to. You want to bring Luke back in? I think you, I, I think we know his story. But uh, you know, no, but it I, ended I, I on just, Endor. But just like from a perspective, right? They've established him already. If Thrawn's back, See, you're the problem. Yeah, I'm just saying if, <laughs> if Thrawn, if <laughs> Thrawn is, is back, how do you not call Luke? Uh, no, he's busy. I think, he got Listen, I think Luke did enough. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you think he's, I he's, fucking he's you'll, settling down. I mean, how many you blew, blew up the Death Star? Yeah, you know, we Sidious Vader. Now he's you know gonna what I mean? He's a blue guy. Yeah, he's gonna fight some blue jackass. You know, I've, Ahsoka can't fucking do it. Uh, yeah, I, I see mean, where you're coming from. The guy can't even use the force. Yeah. You need Luke? I mean, he's smart. Huh. <laughs> I, I see where you're coming from, but I, I feel like Too more much. than likely we're going to see Luke, possibly right. the other. Th Let me ask you this. Yep. Because in the in that Thrawn books, okay. instead of, obviously the Rebels characters aren't there. Sure. It's Han, Luke, and Leia. The big three. What do they do? In here? What, what, how would you feel? If they all showed up? Yes. Would you I'd stop watching? What would you like? I would like them not it, to no, be there. No, say that. <laughs> <laughs> if they're there, though, would you yeah. want like a de-aged Harrison Ford? Or would See, you this want, is why. Like, this is why yeah, I don't want him. I you agree know? with you. Would you want Carrie Fisher's daughter to play no. Leia? Uh, she it, died. It's tough, but I think you gotta. It she might died. Happen. It's over. Yeah, live with it. End it. You're right. You want to see Carrie Fisher? Watch fucking Empire Strikes yeah, Back. Yeah, yeah. Blow me with this in the Ahsoka <laughs> show. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to watch it? Go to watch the fucking movies that came out when she was twenty four, yeah. whatever the fuck. It, it, it's you a, it's not a bad perspective. Thank I'm you. just saying no, it, it so may right. happen, and we may have to be faced well, with some I'll, interesting stuff. Then I'll shit on it. Yeah, but I, I'm glad you like this. I'm glad Thank we're you. enjoying this. Yeah. Sorry. The bottom line is, man, when Star Wars is good, I love it, oh, and great. they get me right back in. Yeah, it's yeah. and we know what we like. You know what I'm saying? We do so know this what we like. and Filoni, he learned under George. It's clear that he understands mm. stuff. Uh and I've enjoyed it. Two episodes left. Hopefully they finish the job. But glad we get the topic. Uh, maybe we'll do like a end of season review. Sure. Maybe we'll bring Sam on yep. for that if he can catch up with it. Oh. Because he's a big, uh, big Clone Wars. Yeah, we'll bring guys. Sam on. We'll bring yeah, Sam. we'll bring him on. Yeah. Sam, check it out. But uh, that'll do it for this Ahsoka review. Yep. All right. So I got a question of the day. 
thought about this in the car. <laughs> all right, I try. I try. You Sometimes they come to me, you know? God almighty. Oh, Percy. Uh, here, <laughs> here's my uh, question of the day. What is your favorite guilty pleasure movie? I know I just. What's a movie that. Percy Jackson. <laughs> oh, man, what's a movie a that people question. really. Not a lot of people like this movie, but you know what? You have a fun time watching it. Oh, that's a good oh, that's one. That's a good question. And Fuck, you don't care what the haters one. say. Oh, man. Dude, off the bat, I don't know. I just thought of Attack of the Clones. Okay, yeah, that's you know, valid. American Pie. I don't know if that's oh, a guilty pleasure. I don't pleasure. know if they're American Pie. No, I okay. think that's got a good, okay. good following. All right, maybe Attack of the Clones. Just everyone shits on it. Yep. But I love it. I think just because I grew up on it. Yeah, definitely. And, like, I love Natalie Portman. Mm-hmm. You know, like, growing Genosis. up. like Yeah, she was like, you know. So The I'd first one that came to mind for me was The Cat in the Hat. Oh, that's a good movie. A good yeah. movie. Uh, good movie. Uh, so you mean, like, but when you say not. guilty pleasure, it's like an underrated film. No, it's like 90% of people, if you told them you liked that movie, would be like, what do you, what's wrong with you? Oh, really? Oh, fuck. Because right, so I feel like usually it's movies that the majority of people don't like. Mm. Um, I would say for our generation, Attack of the Clones, we enjoy it. Yeah. Y- you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. versus the older generations who saw Yeah, that. like, I wouldn't tell, like, a hardcore Star Wars fan, like, I love Attack Like, yeah. I would kind of hide it. I wouldn't bring it up. You know what I mean? I, I think Batman v Superman is one for I me, like too. I like it. I like that I enjoy one. Batman v Superman. Dude, even the first Aquaman, like I kind of liked it. Yeah, that's that's a per- it was perfect fun. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of those like stupid superhero movies. Like I would say for me. Yeah, American Yeah, I guess that's not a guilty pleasure. I guess a lot of people like that. Yeah, movie. like Batman and Robin, like really bad ones that some but sometimes you just like watching Dude, them. Dude, you know what I don't mind? Oh, I got one. Hancock. Hancock. Oh, oh yeah, with that's Will a Smith. very that's good, a good one. one. Will Smith. That's a very. Uh, I like yeah, Hancock. Well, Hitch. Not my favorite. Yep. Hitch. Hitch. I, I like Hitch. Hitch. But I, I feel like, like a lot of people like Hitch. Right, right, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, it's true. Here's true. one because I've been craving a, a rewatch of it. Hubie Halloween, man. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> that's hot. Oh, that is what a garbage film. What a picture. Hey, it was filmed locally. Support local film. Dude, you're gonna watch like 12 minutes of that and be like, "What the fuck am I doing?" Hey, you never know. Yeah, uh, not garbage. Was, oh, yeah. Yeah, Adam Sandler's going on tour though. Um, good for him. Yeah, <laughs> let him continue. Right. Uh, oh man. All right. Give me like a. Give me like a space hot jam. Second. Is that a? Is that a guilty pleasure? The original. Yeah. No, it's I mean, my, yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies yeah, ever. That's song. <laughs> United ninety three. <Ever. laughs> I looked up underrated films because oh, like I've that. seen uh, I've seen a whole bunch of them. Space Jam's fucking um, awesome. Or oh, I watched American Gangster recently. It was very good. Same. Ooh, so that was very good. Wow. On Netflix, first right? Time? Or HBO. Whatever it was on. No, I just rewatched it. Oh, like, I watched it for the first time you know, the other day. I love dude, I love rewatchable films. Like ones where you where you can like throw it's something very on. No, I know, but there's a lot of stuff, especially in today, I feel like films you they put films out, you watch it, you go, oh, that was good. And then you see it on Netflix a year later and mm-hmm. you're like fuck it, scroll past yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like Whenever there's like a rewatch, like a good, you're like, on. fuck, dude, no, this American is what Gangster we're watching. My favorite, I still, to this day, one of my favorite films, if not, it's competing for spot number one, is always Django Unchained. I, I Great can movie. always I, watch that movie. Yeah. Great always. Movie. With like The Godfather. Like it's right up there for mm-hmm. me. I love yeah, that. Great film. I love Russell Crowe, early 2000s. Gladiator. He had a run. Come on, man. He had a run there. Yeah. Christian Bale. Yeah. Catch real. me if you can. Good movie. Good also, movie. That's not a guilty pleasure. What do you? No, I, I'm just okay. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Jackie Brown. Animal. Jackie Brown. I'll watch every Great time movie. I see okay. it. Great okay. movie. Or um, so now we're talking rewatchable films. Well, it's think. a good. I mean, uh, yeah. I guess maybe. I don't know, well, man. Because a guilty pleasure is not a not a objectively a bad movie. I would say. Hmm. Hmm. You're gonna have to give me a second, RJ. I, we're we're we got time. Give me a second here. I feel like Christians would be Christmas with the cranks. Yeah, he loves that. Movie. Oh, what yeah, a dude. shitty fucking he movie. Lo- he loves <laughs> that's it. The he point. Lo- no, but he loves I know, that's why I get it. it is because he loves it. I, know, I yeah. get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I gotta find one because I def I definitely have. No, I know you do. I'm surprised. One. I I got like maybe um like it's not a bad movie, but like people wouldn't expect me maybe to like it. Okay. I I like the Notebook. Oh, the, the yeah. Notebook. The Proposal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like oh, I like a romance. What's like the Proposal? Yeah. Um. Fuck it. What's the one that fucking uh, Hux? He's in one. Like he disappears and he can go back in time. Rachel McAdams is in it oh, too. Uh, it's a romantic movie. About time? Yes. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. You know what's fun fact about yeah. that? When I stayed in oh. London, I stayed at the house they shot really? that in. And I found the portal. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was waiting yeah, for it. Right. No, I actually did. Oh. Yeah. Did you really? I stayed at the house. Oh, I didn't oh, find yeah. the portal. I was, oh, okay. Yeah. 
you know, the important yeah. questions. Yep. So, yeah. Got it. That's actually no, the first kidding. place I watched Drive at. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. What a world. My PTSD starting to kick in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what's you know what's a crazy one that I saw recently? Uh that I that I was that I've watched like more than once because it was on and I was like, mm-hmm. it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Meg. The uh, uh, that that would be a guilty awesome. pleasure. The film. one, the one of yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> the, that yeah. one, that one I saw on uh, Netflix. Sharknado. I think it was. Shit oh, like it was that. on HP. Oh, I was on Max. Yeah. Excuse me, it was on Max. But yeah, it was uh, Max. You like a lot of Jim Carrey movies. I feel like there's some bad Jim Carrey movies. Oh, out there I, I are, mean, any Jim Carrey yeah. movie, Liar Liar, I'll watch all yeah. the time. I love that movie. Uh, but Bru- I would consider Bruce the Almighty. Mask. Uh, uh, well, get the f- watch yourself, kid. Right. The mask is a fantastic <laughs> film. The mask is is uh, pride and joy. You're gonna tell me that the mask is an objectively bad movie that only Jim Carrey oh, fans you know what? like? I, I'm thinking about the sequel, but Cat and I'm the thinking Hat? of Son of the Mask. Oh, get the with Jamie yeah. Kennedy. Yeah, get yeah, the Son, fuck of the out here, Son of the Mask. What a waste of time, yeah. dude. Yeah, Jamie Kennedy. What a uh, free six yeah. percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Jeez. That ain't good. No, it's All not. Right. What about uh? What did the mask have on Rotten Tomatoes? Eighty. Mm. That's okay. good. I didn't. <laughs> I meant the second one. I, I was. Okay. Yeah, but no. Uh, yeah, Jim Carrey. Fun with Dick and Jane. Good movie. There you go. Good movie. <laughs> Say that again. Fun with Dick and Jane. Oh, Jane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey. Jane can wait in the car. <laughs> yeah. Ding bong. Oh, Alan Cumming. Yeah. Yeah, where? On whose face? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, so that'll do it for this episode of the Movie Mob Podcast, episode 66. Tell your friends, all right? <laughs> or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> uh, guys, as always, the Movie Mob Podcast drops every Friday at 6 p.m. Drop a question down below. If you get a question for us to answer next week, we'll answer it. If you want to let us know what your favorite guilty pleasure is, or no go. Oh my god! I mean, feel free. You know, so, but- <laughs> we'll talk about anything. <laughs> Please, uh, for the love not, of all that is good not, and holy, the, your Please. guilty pleasure movie. Right? Let us know that one that came out in theaters, <laughs> not one you saw online. <laughs> but guys, like, subscribe. We'll see you next week. How you doing? <laughs> oh, jeez.